。有没得那个二千条？有二千条。People find it very surprising that someone who is a graduate of Cambridge University wants to be a cook. I think that food is culture. I'm Fuchsia Dunlop. I've been learning about Chinese food for more than 25 years. I've written six books about Chinese food and cooking. I loved cooking since childhood. We always had foreign people living with us and cooking with us, so I was always trying new and interesting foods. So the first time I ever had real Chinese food at was pi dan, and I just remember this slightly sulphurous smell, getting black slime on my chopsticks, and feeling that it contaminated all the other dishes. I could not understand why people loved eating things that, to me, were just like rubber bands, plastic bags. <laughs> I happened to be in China at that very moment when China was opening up in the 1990s. I originally went to study in Chengdu, and I loved Sichuanese food, and I just became curious. Later, I went to culinary school in Sichuan. And it's just a sort of fascinating window into Chinese culture. I spent a lot of time sitting in tea houses, talking to people. <laughs> There were men making bu xie, the ear cleaners and、um, snack makers. The more I learn, the more interested I become. They've had roasting ducks in China for about seven or eight hundred years. Firstly, have the skin dip it in white sugar to taste the sort of original fragrance without any of the trimmings. Many people in the West have been introduced to Chinese food by kind of cheap takeout. One of the silliest Western stereotypes about Chinese food is that Chinese food is unhealthy. A lot of salt, a lot of sugar, a lot of MSG. I think that the Chinese understand more about the connections between diet and health. Chinese people talk constantly about what you should eat in certain weather, or to deal with certain illnesses or indisposition. Where my doctor advised me to take medicine, but I realised that the symptoms were from shanghuo, that I had too much internal fire. So I changed my diet, and I got better without medicine. It's really interesting that some Chinese people actually react against Chinese medicine, and they think it's unscientific and a bit old-fashioned. I put something on Twitter about、um, yin er gun, which is very good for the lung, and a couple of Chinese people wrote replies, sort of suggesting that it was all ridiculous superstition and un unscientific. These are tendons from deer's feet. <laughs> Go on, chew. I think the main barrier for any Westerner appreciating Chinese food is the Chinese appreciation of kogan, of mouthfeel. A lot of the textures that Chinese people really love. Westerners don't like so much, like slimy, slippery, gristly. <laughs> you know, Westerners tend to like the crispness of deep-fried foods, but in China, there's a much bigger range of textures. At the high level, you have things like sea cucumber, shark's fin, and then at the lower social level, goose intestines, rabbit's ears, hong ho. Like with sea cucumber, a chef will spend days preparing it, purging it, taking away all its xin wei. So you end up with something that has no flavor, and then, of course, you have a beautiful sauce. But this is something that's really incomprehensible for Westerners. And I remember being amazed at just watching people slitting the throats of chickens and bleeding them out in the market and chopping them up while they were still moving. But I suppose that I had mixed feelings about it. Some of the practices were very cruel, but at the same time, if you eat meat, you have to recognise what it means.、So、that's one thing that I appreciated about China was that people were quite open about this. 
Well, usually I would come to China at least once or twice a year, and the purpose was eating. Well, my daily life in London right now, like everyone else's, we're really under another lockdown. But I cook a lot of Chinese food. Was it that you had xiao hua ji for your birthday? Oh, for my mother's birthday. Yes, I oh, made xiao hua ji. Yes. Land of Fish and Rice is a cookbook about the Jiangnan region. I spent nearly ten years getting to know it. You know, I will never get bored with Chinese food, and I will never feel that I've mastered it. It's a huge, diverse, rich cuisine, and I think it's a lifetime task.